Victor Osim had joining Manchester United would be one of the biggest decisions and moves in his football career. And also for Manchester United, maybe it will be the best signing of the season and a very important signing for the team. We saw his performance at Napoli. He is one of the players that he will always try to score goals from any point, left, centre and right. And that's the kind of footballer that Eric Tenag has been trying to find to solve the number nine problem at Manchester United. Let me know what you think exactly about Victor Osimhen joining Manchester United in the comment section down below. Do you think he's the right player for Manchester United? Or you think Manchester United should find somebody else? Again, Victor is a kind of a footballer that he'll always try to score goals from far. He's not only scoring goals in the box. He gives defenders something to think. He's not giving defenders any time to rest in that defense line. Having Marcus Rashford and Victor Simhan leading Manchester United attacking line, that's a clear definition of having clinical attacking strikers in one team. Young, strong, fast, and short your short type of strikers. We've seen Marcus Rashford performance at Manchester United of late. He has really improved. And if he's going to be working with Victor Simhan in the striking line, that means 60% or 65% problem of Manchester United scoring less goals will be already solved. I'm not saying Marcus Rashford and Victor Simhan alone are enough for Manchester United to score enough goals. Of course, the likes of Ganacho, Bruno Fernandes, and Casemiro's bicycle kick, Martinez Edas, will also be very important goals for Manchester United. Again, remember Victor Osimhen is still very young and he's going to fit really well into Manchester United Eric Tenok's long-term project and maybe will be guaranteed to be among the starting 11 in the team. Victor Osimhen scored more than 15 goals in his former club, which means he's a kind of a footballer that he can score 25 goals in one season. What he has been lacking at Napoli is going to be getting at Manchester United. Working with players like Asemiro, Bruno Fernandes, Rashford, Ganacho, Anthony and all these other Manchester United players maybe will also improve Victor's number of goals in every season. Remember Manchester United are also having Benny McAfee, one of the people that we've seen what he has really done for Manchester United striking line. And I think he's one of the people that is going also to influence Victor Osimhen's talent. And also Victor maybe will benefit at Manchester United if he's going to have a long term at Manchester United. That means he'll be able to win some trophies and also have some silverware in the Premier League. And that's one of the things that maybe Victor Osimhen right now is considering in his football career. Now where the problem comes in is the price tag that Napoli are asking or demanding to release Victor Osimhen 150 million. And that's one of the reasons as to why Manchester United haven't submitted their first or any official bid for Victor Osimhen. That price is very high for Manchester United. Manchester United and PSG was the only two clubs interested in signing Victor Osimhen. But when Napoli demanded that amount of money, Manchester United pulled out of the race. Again, remember Manchester United was interested in signing Kimi Jai as the defender. Again, Manchester United haven't submitted any of the official bids for this defender. And that means the player will be joining Bayern Munich. And Manchester United again will not be able to sign Kimi Jai as the new defender. Manchester United being left out of these three very important deals. Victor Osimhen's deal, Harry Kane's deal and Kimi Jai deal. Of course Manchester United was left out of Harry Kane's deal with Spurs because Spurs are not ready to sell Harry Kane to any of their internal rivals and Manchester United is among their domestic rivals. Which means Harry Kane might be staying at Spurs with joining Real Madrid. And that means Manchester United are now officially out of the race for signing Victor Osimhen because of the price that Napoli are demanding 150 million for one player to be very for Manchester United. Of course, we know exactly what Manchester United are going through right now. The new ownership saga and all these other players are not out of the team. If Manchester United could have money to sell maybe three or two players, they could have raised some amount of money, maybe to pay for Victor. Let me know who do you think is the right player for Manchester United to sign now that they are not going to sign Harry Kane or Victor Osimhen into the striking line. Again, who is a better defender that Manchester United should go to after missing Napoli's Kimi Jai to Bayern Munich? Like this video and let us know what you think about this Victor Osimhen and Manchester United situation at the comment section down below. If you are new here, do subscribe to our channel. We'll see you on our next one. Till then, stay safe.